When is a passive verb not passive? This is a really important point. You'll be using your computer software and you do a mouse over a Greek word and it'll say that it's passive. And you look at the translation and you go, yeah, but the translations all say it's active. What's going on? Well, there's a kind of a verb called a deponent verb. I discuss it in Greek for the rest of us on page 62. And a deponent verb is a verb that is passive in form, but it's active in meaning. I was in church the other day and the pastor was talking about episkunami, a word that means I am ashamed. There's a negation in Romans 1.16, I am not ashamed. And he made the point that because it was passive, it means nobody can force you to be ashamed. Well, I'm not sure where that definition of the passive came from, but the fact of the matter is episkunami is a deponent verb, which means it's passive in form, but it's active in its meaning. Well, how do you know if a verb is deponent? Well, one is you do your mouse over, it says it's passive, and all the translations treat it as an active. That's a pretty good idea. But the easy way to do it is just to look at the lexical form, the dictionary form. If it ends in all my, omicron mu alpha iota, then that's the dictionary's way of telling you that this is a deponent verb, passive in form, but active in meaning. So you're doing your mouse overs, your computer says it's a passive form, the translations all say it's active, really good chance it's a deponent verb.